All right, uh, I won the die roll, rolled a seven for good old average rolls, and I will elect to play. Yeah, and I will fine. Elect, elect to keep my opening seven. Yeah, same. Uh, my hand's pretty good. Uh, hopefully, this ultimate price doesn't bite us because Brian has a lot of multicolor creatures. <laughs> Like, this, a, like a whole lot. <laughs> this hand is a lot like my dice roll average. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Nothing to do on turn one. Right on time. Um, I'm listening. Mm, I think I still just play voice here. Aw. Go. I was hoping you'd play Sunblade Elf. All right, we have the trump card for voice or resurgence. Here we go. Old Sylvan, don't carry it, dude. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bash on in. Yeah, I mean, even if he has stupid Slesian Charm, I think we're fine with that. So we will block. And because he wastes a whole turn doing it and only deals us one damage. So. All yeah. right. Well, you called my bluff. I'm going to play an experiment <laughs> one. It was not a hard bluff to call. And then a Soldier of the Pantheon and evolve him. All right. And then a basic land forest and pass the turn. All right. So since uh, Brian has... Uh, voice Resurgence in play. We have to go ahead and main phase uh, our removal spell. We're going to take two from this, go to 18. And I'm going to go ahead and play Ultimate Price on Experiment 1, and then play another Sylvan Carotid off of this one. Right. And it is your turn. Experiment 1 has paid the Ultimate Price. Oh, I see what you did there. Um, boom. Block Voice of Resurgence. All right. You go to 16. I do. <clears throat> I will pass the turn. Oh no, Brian's got three cards in hand. That's bad. Am I getting so, Rakdos coming back? I don't know. So, I think what I want to do actually is just Rakdos him for two, because I'm 99% he's just going to cast Evan in the Worm, and we want to be able to kill that. So, shock myself. Rakdos for two. Mm. At the very least, if he doesn't cast Rakdos, we just leave up two blockers. So that's not... It's like a break-even for damage. Shocking ourselves, that is. Well, Let's I'm just hope one of his cards isn't Smiter. I'm going to go to 18. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's clear that he has a removal spell here. Um, or just want to block. Yeah. Either or. I mean, we would, you would just Rakdos return us for three in that case. That is true. Um. Hmm. Maybe his other card is a Johnny Sedfast, and he's considering keeping that up. I'm just this. This might be loose, but I'm just gonna discard two Abnons. <laughs> okay, you gain one life from this guy. I do, actually. yeah. I'm at 19. All right, here we go. I'll scry with Temple of Plenty. Bottom that. We do not need that. Crash on in. Uh, block both. Sure. A Johnny's presence Go. there would have been real bad for us, but luckily he did not have it, so. All right. Voice makes all of our removal spells look real gross. Um, let's see. We're at 14. I guess we can play Vraska and tick up. Uh, could also play Underworld Connections and draw a card. Maybe that's better, because I could dig us for a uh, Polokronos or something. Hmm. Interesting scenario here. All right. Not sure if this is right. I don't know how much damage I want to deal to myself, though, so I think just doing this is... All right, I'll gain a life. Yeah. And I'll tick up to six. You're at 20... No, let's take it. All right. And <coughs> draw. And I assume all his dudes are just going to come at me because Tech and Braska is silly. Like, yeah. Like constant, constant silliness. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to send everything at you. Okay, I'll block uh, this one so he can't sell his Yeah, take so uh, actually, how does Braska read? I would destroy, so if you have a giant's presence, you'd, that could you could attack her instead. No, 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 I was just wondering if... Uh, his protection from multicolor applied to Brasco, but I don't it is think, not because yeah. it is not a targeted effect. Okay, uh, you take four down to ten. Yep, pass turn. Alrighty. Well, since we have, ooh, that was a good draw. Um, all right, cast Pelucronos. 
And I'm actually going to take down and kill a voice. Okay. And... So... I don't think there's... Okay, so here's the deal. If he untaps and then casts Lesnian Charm, that would probably be very bad for us. But if he end of turn Lesnian Charms this, we can Abrupt Decay this. Uh, otherwise, what we can do is just... Uh, you know, block as is, and if he end of turn advents of the worm, we can abrupt decay that. So I'm just gonna pass. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna exile Plutonus. All right, that is pretty bad. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and abrupt decay this. All right, I'll gain a life. Yeah, uh, 21. Now this will allow him to kill our Vraska if he wants to, but we are at a low life total, and that's not so bad if he's spending four damage to throw at her. And it also gives us a free roll kill on another creature if he wants. Yeah, kill Vraska. Go. All right. All right. We will play Underworld Connections on Stomping Ground. Sure. I'll go to nine. Sure. Play Temple of Malady, another land on top, and I'll pass turn. Send. Block. I will Sintess and Tactics these two. That's really gross. Like, super gross. <laughs> All right, they're dead. Go. All right, let's draw some big baddies. All right, there aren't that many five drops in our deck, so <coughs> I think we should actually temple before we underworld connection. Okay. So scry. It's a dreadbore on top. I don't really want to dreadbore your voice too badly. So we're going to put that on bottom. We'll go to eight. Yep. No Pelucranos. Well, we drew Pelucranos. All right. Uh, go, I guess. <laughs> Hope you don't die. Hope you don't die. And that was Pelucranos. Delightful. Um, <laughs> I thought I said no Pelucranos. <laughs> <laughs> I made that abundantly clear. <clears throat> uh, hmm. I don't know if I should play this or wait a turn. Um, since I'm really not capable of attacking through Pelucranos. You shouldn't cover your mouth when you're speaking. That way they can hear you. Eh. What Brian said was global, 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 global. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it was like a bunch of gibberish and then the word Pelucranos <laughs> and then a bunch more gibberish. Uh, and, then, and then tilt the world, tilt the world. Yeah. I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Come on, Garrett. All righty. Well, we can play this land or waste and then potentially fight for three to kill both those guys. And we can do that on his upkeep so that even if he draws a Celestia Charm, it uh, doesn't really do much. Uh, I don't think we want to attack because he'll still have a voice token and potentially an advent. So I guess we'll just pass. Okay. And upkeep. Sure. I'll activate. Sure. Three, uh, one, two. You get an Evanar one. Monstrous. That's bad. All right, you take a damage from I your do. confluence. Down to twenty. All right. You're up. Now we <laughs> we have a blocker for it, which is good, but at the same time, it's not that good. <laughs> uh, we'll go to seven. Now okay. I just want to draw Garrick. That's all I want to do. All I want to draw is a Garrick. I got a feeling he's somewhere in my deck. All right, Corsair, downfall on top. That's not bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and gain a life from our overgrown tomb. Back to eight. And I'm going to cast an Elvish Mystic and pass turn. I don't even know what I want to draw at this point, but I know it's not that. Um, pass turn. All right. Draw downfall. We'll play this tap, gain a life up to nine. And there's no reason to main phase this draw, so we'll just, we can't really attack through his stupid fleece main lion. So I guess pass turn. We'll just play this staring contest till he draws the listening charm for my pulker. No scry, bottom. Don't need <clears throat> any more lands. Go. All right, we'll go back to eight, draw a card. Yep. Flip, untap. Draw this for turn, flip, place on the ground, gain a life up to nine. G 
Jeez. <laughs> well, again, we don't need to main phase the draw, so we can just wait to give him less information on what to do and say go. Come on, Rakdos return. <laughs> it's 20 point Rakdos return. Well, Smiter. Sure. Go. Uh, I'm going to decay him. Good. All right, and draw back down to eight. Untap. Draw pull of Kronos. Flip. Play Temple, back to nine. Flip, scry, bottom. Flip. Oh, God. All righty. Well, no reason to play the seller Polkernos, so here we go. Um, I know he has Hero's Downfall, so I'm going to play a Johnny and um, just immediately minus it. Okay, so you get a counter on both your guys? Yep. And pass the turn. Alright, well that Evanar one is not too threatening right now, so we are just going to go ahead and downfold this. Actually, no, we're, we probably are, but I'm going to draw a card first, back down to 8. Okay. Reveal this. Another Polkronos. Okay, then downfall. Sure. Untap. Draw Polkronos. Flip. Ooh. We'll draw Garrick. Down to <laughs> seven. That's exactly what I wanted. And to top it all off, I get to make Todd Anderson Beast because they haven't even come out with the new ones yet. It's so lucky. <laughs> 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 all right, so uh, Garrick's plus one. Uh, we don't really want to eat his Evan Irwin right yet. So up to six. Make a... Make a me. We'll play a... Actually, kind of want the Corsair to just continually gain a bunch of life, so... I'm not going to play my Scryland yet. We're just going to play this tap to go back up to 8. Yep. To 20. And sure go. Cool thing about these beasts is they do have Death Touch. So, while they will not kill a monstrous Fleece Main line, they will take care of every other creature. Pretty sure that I am on the old Zero Out plan, but I'm going to continue to play the game regardless. Go. All right. Draw a Corsair. I will uh, play this Temple, gain one up to nine. Actually, I should probably play this Corsair first. Go up to ten. Yep. Uh, put the Mystic on the bottom. I need to pay for my spells, I guess. Even though I'm not doing anything else this turn with them. I will make another Beast. And put them up to seven. And there you go. Woo. Woo. Oh, that's, that was actually really good on this board. Uh oh. Man of Confluence, go. <laughs> <laughs> you had me worried there for a second. All yeah. right, but down to nine. I'll go ahead and downfall your Evan Irwin. Uh, Dead. Uh, flip. Blood crits. Alrighty, draw Blood Crypt, and I will draw Dreadboard down to 8. Yep. Play Stomping Ground up to 10. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, sorry guys. Hopefully he's just dead next turn to this here Garrick Ultimate. Go. Sunblade Elf, and I can pump him two whole times. Wow. That is, that is gas. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to draw a Breath Decay. Flip. Urborg. We're going to go up to 12. Sure. And I'll give you a sweet emblem that says, whenever I attack you, all my guys get plus 5, plus 5, and trample. And I think something else, but we're just going to attack you for a bunch. And or actually, before blocks, I'm going to dread bar this guy. I'm going to pump twice using Confluence both times. Okay. And then I'm going to die. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sand is kind of bad, but I think I still keep it. Uh, my I'm hand sure. is threat light, but that's kind of how this deck goes. Uh, but I think we keep it just because we can interact a bunch if we need to. So, Soldier of the Pantheon. Oh, uh, no. Go. All right, well, we've we've done two damage to him. Ooh, that was, that was just perfect. Perfect. No! Don't play Voice of Resurgence. Voice of Resurgence. Man, I hate that guy. Go. He's so good against my deck. All right, we're going to tentatively play this Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. Hopefully it will not 
help you in the slightest. Oh, it will help me a lot. <laughs> Here we go. And still haven't carry it, Sid. I'll play a mana confluence. I can now oh, no. attack for I should black. have just played my Lenore Waste. What is wrong with me? Attack, for, attack with both. Block here to play around. Stupid. Yep. Slow any charm. 16. 16. Fleece main Lion. Okay. You're up. Ha! You didn't even use it. I didn't. But I still feel like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, we are just going to play Lenore Waste and main phase a downfall on that guy. Seems strong. Go. All right, draw for turn. That was a loose one. Boom. Same block. Yep. 14 to 20. Go. Draw. Temple of Milady. Sure. Put that on the bottom. Um, go. <laughs> and <laughs> that is comical. All right, I'll attack with both. Block. Um, let's try to boon that guy. Taking this is taking oh one. My. I do have to take one. Oh my! Uh, you take one down nineteen. Yep. I have to think for a moment. So I can give him a <coughs> voice resurgence token. I guess I have to. I don't really need my character that bad, but I I still have. Let's see. Either way, he's gonna have a guy, so I'm gonna just downfall this guy. All right. So trigger this. Yeah. And take two. Take yep. two. Twelve to nineteen. You're up. Stupid voice, just <laughs> ruining the party. All right. Well, my draw has been a lot of lands this game. I think actually, I just noticed they were all lands. <laughs> uh, yeah, because we had these three in this one <laughs> at the beginning. Um, yeah, this is bad. All right. I'm not gonna take damage. I'm just gonna tap this guy and dreadbore this and say go. Alright, draw. A two mana conflicts in our opening hand is a little, a little funny when you played the uh, third work. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to take one down to 18 and play an Advent of the Worm to pump my Evan token. Okay, I'm down to seven and you're at uh, 18. Yep, you're up. Alright. I don't know what we can draw. Sylvan Carotid, you are not it. I guess we can survive for one more turn, technically. Go. Play a voice. Yup. Send in the team. Fuck these two. Take five. Sure. Two. Two. Yep. Go. Okay, so I'll try this. And I'm just done. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're here for sideboarding. Uh, as you can see, I'm bringing in the thought seizes and the doom blades. Um, the reasoning behind Thoughtseize is that voice resurgence is just really, really strong against my deck and. It's so good that I am bringing Thoughtseize basically just to take that, but even if it doesn't take that, taking his best card is still not that bad for the cost of two life. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think it's at least serviceable, but I'm not super happy about it. I just feel like the way that this matchup feels, I, I feel like I need something to preempt his threats as opposed to, uh, you know, sitting back and trying to one for one him completely to death. Uh, the the Doomblazer just catch all removal spells against him. Uh, what we're cutting though is uh, a little interesting. Uh, Elvish Mystic is coming out because we're bringing in Thoughtseize. Now this may seem a little weird, but uh, basically we want to slow the game down significantly, which gives us enough time to actually hit our land drops and uh, just naturally curve out against them. And so uh, since Elvish Mystic doesn't really block many of his creatures and trade with them, uh, I figured this is uh, much better to cut than something like Sylvan Carotid, which is also a color fixer. So we're cutting basically uh, these four Thoughtseize straight up. Uh, cutting the two Rakdos Return, which feels weird when we're adding in Thoughtseize, but they play very different roles in the matchup. Uh, Rakdos Return doesn't really take care of uh, too much. Uh, Brian usually empties his hand by like turn four or of most of the relevant spells. And uh, we're cutting the ultimate price because it doesn't have very many targets. Yep. Uh, as for myself, I'm cutting uh, the two tactics because he doesn't really have a lot of creatures for me to fight. Uh, profitably, um, I mean, I guess it's okay occasionally as a combat trick, as we saw in the first game, but uh, that's not the expected result. And uh, I'm also cutting two Soldier of the Pantheons. Uh, basically, I, I feel like Soldier just doesn't match up well against Sylvan Carrioted. And uh, <laughs> did you get it? 
I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, that fly's still bugging us. Yeah, there's, a, <laughs> there's a fly. We've been on a hunt oh, to man. destroy this fly. I, don't, I thought I got him. Yeah, oh, I did get him. He's dead. He right. paid the ultimate <laughs> price. <laughs> Is a dead fly. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Not multi. He is not multicolored. We have established that. <laughs> He's also not colorless. All right. We're okay. We're done. All right. Let's just move to the next game. All right. I, I am. I'm all flustered now. Bringing my stuff back. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We're back here for game three. Fly down. Uh, painting the ultimate price. And uh, my hand uh, on the mold of six is not bad. Uh, we are a little land light, but if we draw a land, we can hopefully start churning through our deck with the underworld connections. Um, so we have the, the sweet <clears throat> combo of these three cards, uh, which is which is a nice start to the game, and uh, Let the me rest... guess, Voice of Resurgence. Actually, it's not. Thank God! And the, the, other, <laughs> the other four cards in our hand are voices, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other four cards in our hand are, are solid follow-ups, right. so we'll keep... AKA land. Alright, shock <laughs> myself, experiment one, go. Alright. The old 18s. Shock myself, abrupt decay. No. Yeah, we're just gonna go and play around, freaking Johnny's presence and. I don't All right. Know, well, our, our combo with Sunblade Elf was <laughs> destroyed. But I'm gonna go ahead and scry, and I'm gonna. Mm, I'm gonna keep that. I think that could be good this game. All right. Well, we drew an untapped land. Uh, we're definitely gonna play this untapped. Down to 16. 16. And I think we actually are going to. No, we need to put it on the stomping ground. Yes. Going to stay connected. Yeah, sure go. All right. Well, I'm definitely attacking. 14. Yep. Now... Perhaps connections is not as good in this deck as I had imagined it would be. Mm -hmm. It is really good with Corsair, but with 12 shock lands, it is gross. So here, I think I just scry, actually. That might be wrong. This is a good card. I'm gonna keep it. We'll see. That, it might be a mistake. We'll see. We'll see. You're up. All right. Uh, forest go. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'll make a knight. All right. Uh, while he's tapped out, I'm gonna downfall the Sunblade Elf since it is also a two-two with a relevant ability. All right. Here come the Reduke beats. All right. Shock myself. Yep. Sixteen. Sixteen to twelve. Yep. Go. I'll go to 11, draw a card. Okay. Well, that one is not going to do us anything for a little while. Play this tapped, and say go. All right, well, I'm going to jam a worm into his removal spell. Yep. yep. Uh, okay. All right. Let's draw. This deck really needs a sweeper. Anger of the Gods, which I talked about in my article. It's possible that this deck needs that. Hmm. So... I'm just going to jam a voice and get in for two. All right. Nine to 16. You're up. Eight. Yep. Seven. That was good. Needed that. All right. Uh, still in care to Dreadbore the Reduke. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, we didn't draw the card we wanted to draw. I'm s I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel pretty bad. Which was a land. Oh, sure. Uh, I'm just going to cast a Johnny here and decide what I want to do with it. Okay. So I can either plus one my voice and hit him for three, or I can minus two my Johnny and hit him for three. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to plus here, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's better. And just hit you for three. 19 to four. Yep. Go. All right. Big gag time. Yep. All right. Let's make uh, me. Sure. Uh, here we go. Might be dead if he has hmm. Slesnia Charm and another pump spell or something. A couple pumps. Big pop pumps. You have two cards? I do. Alright, I'll plus this and attack you. I will block. Alright, I'll gain three. Yep, and your guy gets first strike, right? So. Correct. 22 to four. No! Alright, don't have decay, go. 
I don't have it yet, but I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna draw it, I know. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, just a polka nose. <laughs> How unlucky. Uh, well, we're gonna go to three to try to draw abrupt decay, I guess. Why did I make a beast? I, I should have just killed your Johnny. I just forgot that was one of his abilities. I'm just a big dummy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you would have to have two pump spells still to kill it. Oh, man, I'm real dumb. Okay. Um, hmm. uh, so I can downfall the Ajani. And then block the voice. Or I can... Yeah, I don't know. That stinks. Play Polkernos. You can't really attack. Hmm. But if you have Slezian Charm, I'm in a lot of trouble. Alright, we'll just do this. Sure. <clears throat> and say go. I can't believe I just kill your Johnny. That was. I am a fool. Well, plus one a Johnny and attack. I'll block. Okay. Right. I go to 25. Yep. The reason I blocked with this is he could have a lot of things to just kill Polkernos, so. Play Fleece Man Lion and pass. Alright. I have a feeling that we are not going to win this game. All right. Play my land. I'll downfall Johnny and Doomblade the Fleece Man line. And there you go. I will take zero damage because oh, of the no. board. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Am I dead? I don't have anything. All right. Well, I'm going to attack with both of my guys. I'll block. I will bestow Boon Seder okay. on this guy. Yeah. All right. So I'm on the play here for uh, game four, I believe. Yep. Uh, my hand's pretty good, and we don't have the mulligan, so great. Uh, this hand's okay, and I'll keep it. All right. We're going to lead off with a scry. Another removal spell. we got plenty of those, so we're just going to put that on bottom. Well, that's bad news bears for me. Uh, I am going to shock myself and play EX1. All right. Uh, 20 to 18. You're up. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and thought seize you. All right. You have a choice between locks on Smiter. Oh, oh no. And five lands. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was going to. Oh, no, we were going to have a bad time. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and play this, but while I make my decision. I suppose I will just take Fleece Main Lion since that is the highest damage output. Yep. Yep. Okay. Here you go. All right. Untapped land. <laughs> not not it. All right. Scry. Bottom. Attack for a moon. Get in for one. All right. You're up. All right. We're going to use our mana efficiently. We're going to put Underworld Connections on my Lenore Waste and pass turn. Sure. And next turn, we can draw a card and cast carry to I'm going to make a 2 2 knight. Yep. Evolve my experiment one. Yep. And attack you for two. 15 to 18. And then I'm going to play another Temple of Plenty. Yep. And keep it. You're up. Well, we did not draw a an untapped land. <clears throat> what we can do is <clears throat> Thought Seize a Slezian Charm and then play. A removal spell uh, or a Sylvan Carotid. I'm not sure which one is correct here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. There are a lot of options. I'm going to draw a card. All right. I think I just want to try to hit land drops, even though it could punish me. All right. Uh, we're okay not thought seizing this turn, I think. Next turn, he's probably just going to cast Smiter. We're just going to main phase this. What if he plays a Johnny next turn, actually? Maybe I don't want to play that. I'm just going to go ahead and abrupt decay this guy. Okay. 
Here we go. All right. Well, I'm going to attack you for two. All right. 12 to 18. Uh, play smiter, play a temple and scry, and keep it. You're up. All right. So we know he still has a Slesnia charm in hand, but let's see. I guess we can... We can just double removal spell as guys, or removal spell carry to it and then not block, maybe. Hmm. I don't want this thought seize to become a dead card, and it's quickly becoming so. So maybe I just thought seize kill your smiter. Oh, there's a Johnny. Um, Johnny voice lesson, John. Yeah. I can handle the voice, I think. Slicing charm is actually pretty bad for me. So Johnny may be worse. Johnny may not be that bad since I have his dread boar. I have all the stuff I can do. I think I actually just take voice. Okay. Um. Prep to kill him. Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card. Go to nine. Try to hit a land. Yep. Here we go. All right. Um, no, Johnny? Go. Oh, God, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm at seven. Yep. All right. Well, that's not so bad. I will play character and pass. All right. Make one. Make a worm. Right. I'll kill him. All right. Here. Hmm. I'm gonna try minus thing. All right, we'll tap, has tap your lands. All right, uh, I will take three down to four. Go. Draw for turn. I will. Dreadbor a Johnny. With these two. And you have two cards in hand, and I just know the charm, right? Yep. All right, I'll just Doomblade this, and say go. All right, something. Really want to draw a Corso Crufix to help regain some life. So, all right, uh, we'll go to three. Sure. Well, that was also not bad. Not bad. That's pretty good. Make a me. Here you go. We can still die, though, which is super gross, because we're I'm just going to make a knight here and hope to draw something. Yeah, he can draw any pump spell to kill me, but I think I have to do that over minusing to kill the experiment one. I could be wrong. I might have should have just minus. See, that puts it at two. No, then my Garrick dies, and then I don't think I can win, so. Mm. What you got, homeboy? I block. <laughs> 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 I got no other options. I'm at three. I go. We ain't out of the woods yet, but it's a great start. Hmm. Probably out of the woods. All right, tick up. I will play Carotid and say go. Yep, it's gonna be real hard to win this one. Uh, I was I needed that card last turn. That's how it goes, Ming. How it goes. I don't know how I can actually win this game at this point. Advent followed by Slesnia Charm and me attack for some reason. Go. I think it's okay to draw a card. So I'm gonna draw a card. Okay. Could be a mistake. Draw for turn. Uh, take up. Make a me. Go. Let's see, those would become eight eights. So I would just actually be dead. Oh yeah, they have death touch too, so you get 
super trampled. Yep, yep. Um, I'll <laughs> bestow Boonsaid on this. Okay. Attack you with both. Fuck. Um, beast first. Okay. Still boon satyr on this. Okay. So, so you're left with two satyrs. Kill a carrot as well. Yep. And that was pretty good. That was actually pretty good. You're up. All right. Uh, we're gonna go to one. Okay. That was not a draw that did anything. That was a draw that did a lot. That's unfortunate. So, um, <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. So, uh, ultimate. Play another one. <laughs> Play another one. <laughs> Take him up. That might actually be worse than just making another beast, but uh, I drew an abrupt decay. So now we can block, block, and then decay something, which is nice. That's pretty sweet. Here we go. The only problem is I could get blown out, but I can pass priority until damage and not lose to Slesnay Charm that way. So I'll just block like this and pass. Or right. if you pass, then I'll pass. All right, well, I'll Johnny's presence, my two guys. Right, I'll kill the one that the beast is on. Sure. Care to dies. All right. Go. <sighs> I'm gonna save this land in case I draw a uh, coarser. That way I can it's probably draw a card. Instead of making a beast, is it better just kill my guy and gain two life? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that I can do all these things. All right, kill him and I'll gain two life, and then I'll hit you for eight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's way better. What's wrong with me, Garrick? I love you. Go. Oh man. Oh yeah, and I can draw a card. Holy crap! All right, I'll draw a card. <laughs> I'm at two. Draw. Attack for eight. I'm at two. Uh, make a beast. Yep. And play a Poconos. And... So there you go. Man, I even drew the per one of the perfect cards. Boon Seder. Oh. oh, I didn't play my land. I'm such a fish. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> we are both on Mulligans to six. My hand is fine. Yeah, my hand's great. All right, well, I don't know if my hand's great, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Sucks for you. Ah! Yep. All right. Carrot tip, we don't need you. We got plenty of lands. Go ahead. Right. Don't play voice. Don't you do it. We're going to try to fleece him. Okay. It's better for him, probably. Yeah, that's outstandingly better than the alternative for me. Um, this is actually an interesting turn. Um. I'm gonna shock myself and play a dread boar. Okay. Go. And did not draw land, so go. Woo! Oh no, we're real far over from casting help. <laughs> Here you go. I'll make a knight. Um Okay. Attack. I think I just want to kill literally everything, but I am not sure what to hit it with. So I shall hit it with a Doom Blade. Shall give it to plus one, plus yep, one. I should have main phase it. That was dumb of me. Fifteen. Right. And you're up. <clears throat> I will... Kill him. He's dead. Here we go. Alright, deck. Give me land. Don't give him lands or spells he can cast. Go. Don't do any of those things. Um, go. Give me food, give me fire, give me some, 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 some. <laughs> Resolves. Go. Go to our charm. <laughs> oh man, that'd be good. Thoughts ease you. Don't have all stupid smiters. 
Alright, I've returned the ring, Spoon Sitter, Advent, and Smiter. Oh no. Oh no, I don't know what to take. Spoon Sitter might actually be the biggest problem for me. Uh, the Return of the Ranks, <clears throat> you can't actually cast it yet. Yep. Not that it actually does much other than get Fleece Main Lion back <clears throat> at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to take... Well, I mean, he has, doesn't have any lands. So taking Boon Sater might actually just be dumb. Uh, huh. But it does pump his guys, but so does Smiter, which he can also cast. You, you could take the Smiter. Oh, 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 oh yes. <laughs> those are, those are words that you said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will take Advent of the Worm, I suppose. Okay. Although that may be wrong. Go. All Return right. of the Ranks could be a, a problem like four turns from now. So, puts me to thirteen. Been lucky. Yeah. You miss it long enough, you'll eventually get there. Yeah, I'll just kill him. All right. I'll, I'll block one. Take you. Take two. Eleven. Go. Ah! Go. <clears throat> All right. I am seriously regretting putting that Sylvan Caretid on the bottom on turn one. And we didn't even take the Boon mm. Sater. Man, mm. I am just in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, we're going to take so much damage. I don't know if this is right. I'm going to go to 18. I'm going to return to the ranks for one. For one. Fleece Main Lion and evolve these two. And attack. Yep. Go to five. Yep. You're up. Oh, boy. This just stinks. Yeah, I can't even Garrick anymore because I didn't draw a land, so I'm just dead. I think I was dead anyway because you... Oh, no, you need to draw a land for the Boon Sater. Correct. Yeah. yeah, that stinks. I will Vraska kill Fleece Main Lion. Here we go. Experiment one, you naughty boy. I uh, will send both at you. I'll block one. All right, I'll flash in a boon Sater. Yep, I go to one. Pump both of these. Yep. I don't think I have an out. Yep, dead. Yeah. Well, that was pretty fun. I uh, Even though I lost, I did have a good time uh, playing against old Advent and company. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Voice of Resurgence is a huge beating against decks like mine where I don't have any real way to exile it as opposed to just kill it. Uh, Garrick is a frickin' brick house. Yeah. Like... He might even be like a copper house or something. I don't even know. <laughs> what? I, that, I don't know. I don't know. He's he's a beating though. Yeah, I mean he he ultimates surprisingly fast. Yep. Uh, I don't even know how to use all of his abilities yet. Clearly, <laughs> uh, we did uh, actually go back and, and reanalyze after uh, I think it was game three. Yep. Where uh, I was getting mad at myself for not taking up to kill the Johnny, but in my head when I was playing the game, I was trying to play around uh, Selesnya Charm and you know like a slew of other pump spells that you could potentially have. Uh, because by tapping out and casting the uh, the Garrick, I couldn't leave my Sylvan Caratid up to block. So making a beast helped me play around all of those effects, whereas uh, uh, killing your Planeswalker would have been really bad. And also killing your Voice of Origins would have been equally bad, yeah. if, if not more so. so. Uh, other than that, I don't know, my deck felt like potentially it wants to lean a little less on the black side and play a little more towards red playing uh, things like Xenagos maybe uh, other ways to generate card advantage that don't deal you points of damage underworld connections felt very forced uh, if that makes sense and um, I really really like uh, maybe trying out something like scavenging news yeah yeah I felt like you I felt like your deck was lacking like one more because um, like you had Plukronos, but if I had Celestian charm for it then you you were just kind of left like like, some of those games you killed, like, 10 of my creatures and still died. Um, yeah. I, I don't have a lot of ways to close with this deck. That is a problem. Yeah, and, like, having something like an ooze, I'm just, like, can't win anymore or yeah. whatever. Uh, as for this deck, I mean, it's pretty much the standard green-whites. Um, Ajani was, was decent. Uh, I don't know if this is the best matchup for him because you're killing all my creatures, but he actually was still pretty good despite that. Yeah, he was, he was fine. Um, I, I've said this before, and I think I, I'm going to say it again, even though I don't want to... Discourage people from buying a Johnny Steadfast. But I actually think a Johnny Caller of the Pride would be better in a green white deck than it would be, or than a Johnny Steadfast. I think a Johnny Steadfast is good when you're just 
you know, crapping out a bunch of tokens, trying to flood the board with as many creatures as possible. You don't really have a curve, you just have like two drops, or all one drops and two drops, and you just try to use Steadfast as an Anthem effect. But I think that when you play things like Advent of the Worm, uh, bigger creatures in general like Smiter, you want uh, either ways to continually put counters on them to make them into bigger threats, like you want your uh, Soldier of the Pantheons to be more relevant or something like that, or you just want to finish your opponent off with a Johnny Double Strike. Uh, doing that on Advent seems pretty awesome to me. But uh, yeah, I mean, Steadfast, he, he's not bad. I don't, I don't think he's bad at all. I, I just think that there is a right and a wrong shell for him, and I don't think this is the right shell. So. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Collar of the Pride would actually be better in this deck as well. Uh, I just wanted to try the new one and see how he, he matched up. Um, but yeah, I agree. Like, Collar of the Pride is, is actually really good in this deck. Um, and I, there's a number of games where if I had Collar of the Pride, there are actually, actually both of the games I lost, you were at like two life, and I was just thinking, like... And I don't have flying blockers. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, <laughs> my only out is, like, it, like I would need to draw a card like a Johnny to win this game, but it wasn't in my deck. So, yeah, um, yeah I agree with that. Uh, Sunblade Elf was interesting. I don't know if it's better than Soldier or not. Uh, I don't know. He, even, like, the time where you had 11 mana, was just like, okay, you, you can pump your guys twice, but... You drew 11 lands, so, <laughs> yeah. like, who cares? You yeah. have, like, two guys or whatever, so. Yeah, I mean, like, we never really got to see... Well, uh, in this matchup, like, when all my creatures are dying, his effect becomes much worse. Sure. Uh, he might be better in other matchups where, like, like for example, against, like, back, like, monsters, where we're not really killing each other's guys as much. We're just kind of putting stuff into play. Uh, plus one, plus one might be better there. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, Soldier's kind of weak in this deck anyway, so uh, it doesn't take much to be better than Soldier. I mean, I guess I'm not that's sure fair. If he is, but uh, I mean, that's reasonable. Like personally, I actually think Dread Militant is the best one drop for this kind of a deck. Even though Soldier is just a better card, uh, having to split and play so many basic lands in the deck, I think just makes Dread Militant like a little better. Like if you want a one drop that has two power, that's the one you should play. Even though his effect is virtually irrelevant, uh, but there's yeah. definitely an, uh, <laughs> um, one potential idea is playing Militant, uh, which then you have double green for Boonsader, double green for Advent. Uh, your one drops are both green. You could probably cut like a couple of planes and play some muta vaults. Oh, that sounds good, especially if you play Call of the Pride. But then you don't have as many planes, so I don't know. Yeah, I I don't, I don't think you could play Call of the Pride in that shell. You would just have to not play any of them or whatever. Sure. Um, I don't know. I, I think those were the only two new cards I was playing, but they yeah uh, they were interesting. I, but... I do want to say Urborg, even though it didn't have that much of an impact on my side, I do. Love the idea of playing Urborg in Mana Confluence decks. Yeah. I, I love the ability to keep you from taking the damage from them. That's a really cool design for the card. You know, they just you know uh, re-released it alongside a card that it works really well with. Uh, and I think the deck that I'm uh, playing that comes out Friday this week uh, should have uh, that combo in it, like two copies of Urborg, I think, and, uh, and some Mana Confluences. So should be kind of cool. Yeah, no, I, I think that combo is like awesome. I Urborg's one of my favorite all-time cards. Like, I started playing Magic in Time Spiral Block, and I loved playing Coralash and Tendrils of Corruption. Yeah, so. that, that was always sweet, but my, my actual favorite thing to do is to just troll judges so hard just by tapping your fetch lands for black mana, and then they walk over, hey, why, are you, how, why is this tapped? And, you're, and you just point to Urborg, and then they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I had a I had a great <laughs> great situation in open where where uh, my opponent had tapped a fetch because I because I had Urborg, and uh, the judge walks by, looks, does an immediate double take, and we both just say Urborg at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks away. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyway, guys, well that's all for me and Brian uh, today. We will have some more verse videos up hopefully on Wednesday and Friday, so be sure to check those out uh, alongside uh, Bard Narson. The, uh, but the bard. Th yeah, but thanks for watching today, guys. Check out some of these new cards we've been playing with. They're pretty sweet. A Johnny Steadfast, uh, Garrick Apex Predator, uh, Call to the Ranks even seemed pretty solid. Yeah, Return of the Ranks. Uh, oh, Sunblade Elf? Return Sunblade Elf. <laughs> Maybe you can... May you don't have to buy that guy. Yeah. You don't have to go buy yeah, that guy. Anyway, guys, take it easy. See ya.